Hey folks, this is Vagrant, and welcome to our next brand new playthrough. Maybe. <laughs> Today we're going to start Dragon's Dogma 2. They don't include the two on the home screen, probably because this is more like a reinvention and a what could have been for the first game than a true sequel in a lot of ways from what I've been hearing. Now, Dragon's Dogma 2 has released today to much expectation and much controversy over several issues like performance issues, microtransactions. Well, those are the two big ones to say the least. And also the fact that you can't make a new character. <laughs> Once you make a character, you're locked in. These are all things I expect to be patched in the coming weeks. So, I've been really looking forward to this game, right? So, I'm going to try it today, and I'm going to play it over the weekend and try to enjoy the game. If the performance issues are egregious, if there are other things getting in the way, things that we need to wait for a patch, basically, I will then stop the playthrough. I'll probably delete this single video, and um, we'll restart the playthrough down the line when things are a little bit better. But I'm not going to write it off without trying it myself, so... You know, we've got two hours until we can no longer refund the game, so we may as well give it a go, right? So, Dragon's Dogma 2, let's give it a go. I've put NVIDIA DLSS on performance mode, which I'm hoping is going to help. With the, uh, well, performance. La Conviction? Uh, am I meant to be able to read that? I hope not. <laughs> conviction is the human will that reaches its greatest power. Honor del Balzac. <laughs> On a guess, lend me your ears. Long as our favorite man suffered without a true monarch to guide her and her people. Decades have passed since last His Majesty Erland sat atop the Draken throne. Long have we endured, yet it has not been for naught. At last, the bell has tolled on the age of the Council. At last, we may celebrate the coming of our rightful ruler. The return of the Sovereign. My word, such an inspiring visage. Your Majesty shall have my eternal fealty. Your Majesty, oh how long I have awaited this moment. Behold, before you sits the rightful inheritor of the Draken throne, chosen by the dragon as its enemy. Behold and rejoice! Fortune has delivered us our savior at last! At last! Praise be, for only the Sovereign's guidance can lead us true. All hail the Sovereign! All hail! Let all present Pledge your allegiance to the Sovereign. Let us be united in the hope that our liege's reign will near end. Long live the Sovereign of Vermont! Long live the Sovereign! Arisen, thou who wouldst slay the dragon, if thou seekest to behold this world in its true aspect, abandon thy reason. Cast aside thine heart and thy life, both. 
I ask thee to demonstrate thy will. For naught but thine ambition can alter the course of the rivers of fate. Excavation site jail. It is jail. Elden Ring has taught me well. <laughs> I was saying gowl for like the entire game. one of you was it? No need to be shy. I've just got to take down a record of your name and face. Come on, step forward. You can either select a prisoner to use as preset or select the hood of prisoner to customize your character's appearance from a blank state. So one of the things people are complaining about is that um, your character's appearance, so basically there aren't multiple save files on this game, and your character's appearance is locked into the cloud save for the game. So even when you start and like when you go in and delete the save file for your game and restart the game that way, your character appearance is actually already locked in, which is just a bizarre choice. Uh -huh. I thought I recognized <laughs> it. really is. <laughs> All right, let's make a character. Choose a race, body type, and base head. Okay. So we've got like lion. I think they're called. Oh, what are they called? Beastrin or something like that? We're not playing a beastie person. It doesn't help that they all look like elderly men. <laughs> I kind of want to make a hench. I'm going to make a hench. Adjust the face to suit your liking, making selections over three stages. Be able to use the head you've chosen as a base for further customization. So, people have been able to play with this character customization for a while now, and it is seemingly pretty insane, it must be said. So, we're just going to pick the base head. I'm kind of like, <laughs> I swear this is like the M2F line or something like that, but I'm going to pick the woman who I feel best represents. It's either the woman who represents me or the woman I'm attracted to, and hopefully they're not the same thing. I don't know what we're trying to pick here. Looking for something that grabs me. <laughs> this is Granny wandering around. A it's like the woman out of Midsummer. Granny wandering around just obliterating people. I'm just I'm not I'm not really looking at skin color or hair or anything like that. I'm really just looking at facial features. To see if there's any that are grabbing me. Where's that one gone? Oh not you. Where's the one I liked? I've lost her. It's very important because I'm locked in after this point. <laughs> you know, this is, this is this is the end for us. I like uh, what was that last from the first page? Start that. Ah. Oh wait, one second. Let me. Where's that other one I was gonna pick? He's just too pale. It's cute. Does that matter? I don't know. I don't know what I pick character-wise. I don't know. I don't know what my um. I'm gonna change the hair though. This is an interesting way of doing it. So we can pick all this stuff and then later on we can um do further customizations like this, which as you see is kind of great. Traps minus two. Not on my watch. <laughs> okay, maybe not that bit. Let's just get some traps on, though. I've been working on my traps. Muscle strength. Yeah, she's hench. Oh. Well, oh. I mean, she, look, she has to be an adventurer. We have to go and explore the world. She has to be strong. Muscle style. What types of muscle style? What the heck? 
20, there's no need for 24 different muscle styles. There's just no need. Oh, I wonder if my weight matters. That's interesting. Head size. <laughs> head length, head width. I'm going to thicken the head a little bit. This is mad. Shoulder width. Chest shape? What do you mean? Oh, God. What have I done to them? <laughs> of course she's stacked. <laughs> of course she's stacked. Don't be silly. Okay, I don't I don't really feel the need to change all this. Um Okay. We're not horny gaming. <laughs> right, the main thing I want to change is hair. Which is body, head, head, skin, brow, eyes, nose, ears, mouth. Body hair. Oh, hair cell. Oh dope. Can I zoom in here? Why are you so z Oh, there we go. Dom, dom, dom. She looks good. Just need to pick an appropriate hair cell. So let's go down to number one. There's 57 to choose from, so <laughs> give me a minute. No. No. That's like the Rachel Bob. No. I mean, look, we all know I'm going to pick a ponytail. But I don't hate that. Okay, it's likely that, though. I, I like a ponytail. So remember number seven. Do not remember number nine. Why is that? Like, it starts off with all these feminine hairstyles and then it throws in this one. I mean, some women suffer from male pattern boldness, but women who do don't tend to go for, like, the monk look like this. I've never seen that on a woman before. Doesn't mean it doesn't exist, I suppose. You want something that feels cool, but also, again, like, adventure worthy. You know what I mean? Now, funnily enough, I always go ponytail, and I think it's mainly because of my deep love for Tomb Raider and Lara Croft. However, if you really think about it, a ponytail is quite inappropriate for an adventurer type. I always say, like, especially during things... Ooh. No, no, no. Why is that double? I hate doubles. Um... God, it's that hair cell. <laughs> it's everywhere. Um... There's really only one ponytail in this entire bloody thing. I don't hate that either. There we go. Don't like that though. Full on Goku main. <laughs> Incredible. I mean, I think even the Mohawk is pretty awesome. She rocks it. I don't hate 57, weirdly enough. 57 or 7, was it? No, we're going 7. Root colour. Dark red. With a little bit. I don't want her to feel like she's got highlights in per se. Because, again, adventurer, right? <laughs> I just feel like those things don't go together. But like a little bit of grey, maybe, like that. I do. I really appreciate this level of detail. Sheen position. Look at it. You can move the the shininess on her head around. Like, why would you ever need to do this? Uh, the grey is just coming in at the the bottom of her hair. I'm gonna. Can I darken this? Yeah. Oh, I could have just. Oh. Well then. <laughs> Okay, something's bugging me about her eyes, and that is probably about the only thing I have an issue with. Maybe a little bit of nose change. If you feel free to skip for, oh, we'll have to do some scars and stuff like that as well. Nose. It's a little bit skinny, I think. Uh, one thing I'm trying to do is kind of like look out for. The stats that are like way out of place. You know, the ones that are like very high statted in one area. Because that would suggest. Um, I'm trying to thicken the bridge. 
But I feel like I've already thickened it loads. Maybe noses are skinnier than I realize. <laughs> That's probably what the case is. Eyes. Eyes, 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 eyes. Why are the eyes bugging me? I mean, they're okay. Oh, she looks great. Chin. Chin needs work, though. <laughs> you look great, except I need to work on your chin. I'm gonna... Definition? All right. I wanted to thicken it up a little bit. Bom, bom, bom. Okay, I just, I just wanted to make it a little bit thicker. That was the main thing I wanted. Um. Okay, so we've again, like I say, this this can't be changed. <laughs> Like this is this is it. Oh wow, crazy. I'm not gonna mess around that too much, I'm fine with that. Pupil size, iris size Madness. Eyelashes don't care about I wait 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 I no they're fine. What about do we have freckles? So no, there's a little bit of that. Sure. I was thinking more like scars and stuff like that, but we'll do that next one. I'm not gonna put makeup on again. It's it's oh it's just got a bit on already. Get that off. Okie dokie. Teeth. Why would I need to edit the teeth? You don't see... Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, if you wanted them to have, like, messed up teeth, I guess. I can see the appeal. Right, anyways. Tattoos. Uh, I mean, how often is my character going to be naked? So I don't really care about tattoos. There's more scars that I'm curious about. I mean, that's a classic right there. Oh, God. It's like Joker kind of stuff. She's taking a bit of a beating, hasn't she? I'm trying to change head... Uh, face scars, mainly, but I can't seem to find just the face scar, unless it's part of body scarring. I don't think it is. So I have to use the presets. Nope. You know what, if that didn't have that little split at the end, I'd go for it. That's too many... I think I'm just going for that one. She's been clawed up a little bit, you know? But she's she's had a little time to heal. Okay, um... I think we're done. Vocation... Oh, right, okay. Bear with me. Right, so that's all. I'm going to say that's all done. No. Detail customization. Yeah, done that. Okay, vocation. Fighter. Oh, can be changed later. Archer. Mage, thief. Okay, yeah, let's read these. Fighters battle their enemies in close quarters with sword and shield. Mighty attacks and counter attacks allow them to cut down foes of bees. I know there are more vocations than this. I don't know if they're like sub vocations though. I, I'm not really an archer kind of player. Mage, I'm not really a mage kind of player either. I'm a thief, or I'm a fighter. Typically. I'm gonna. We'll start with fighter and be a bit a little boring. But like I said, we can change it later. And voice. Mm. 
It's interesting because this is clearly the same voice pitched up differently. <laughs> Name, oh god, name, uh, I don't bloody know. <laughs> Wait, what do I have in my bedroom? Let me have a look around. How long have I been playing? 20 minutes already. <laughs> I'll have to put a thing to skip forward. Um, I feel like you should have like a Valkyrie kind of name. It seems very cliche, but how much do I care about that? Not really. Oh, sorry. I'll just... Valkyrie, there we go. Wow. So, so, so original. I know it's crazy. Monica. It's like a nickname kind of thing, yeah. I don't bloody know. I wonder if these are ones that will be said in game by characters. Maybe I'll pick one of these that I like and then I'll put that as the name and the Monica and that'll kind of make more sense to me. I like Isabel. Yeah, I'm going to change the name to Isabel. <laughs> or maybe her full name is Isabella and she goes by Isabel. Sure. 20? She's no baby. She's a hardened warrior. And I will never make a new character again. <laughs> I'm locked in for life. I ill like that look in your eyes. Tis queerly brazen for a pawn. I'm the pawn, I'm a main character. Most of your kind have eyes blank as a cadaver's. Mayhap tis only natural seeing as how you rise from the dead. There's aught different about you, though. Could it be that you fear death just as we mortals do? Worry not, Vessel. Three days here, and you'll be longing for death's sweet embrace. You seem nice. Come along, you feckless dullards. One or more add-ons added, oh, so I didn't get the deluxe edition by the pre-order of the game, which <laughs> may have turned out to be a mistake. But hey, we'll see. Maybe the game's fine for me, you know? I'm not gonna write it off early. I'm expecting the game to kick my ass a few times as well. The difficulty and stuff like that has been mentioned. You know, Dragon's Dogma 1 was like that as well. It would absolutely ruin your day <laughs> if you allowed it. And even if you didn't allow it, frankly. So I'm not expecting the sequel to be much different. Oh, I have done what I usually do. But I'm going to just do it a little bit more. Oh my god. Who designed this UI? <laughs> Look at it. I just want to mess with a system. System. I always do this. I'm just gonna, I always have to do it more than I think I have to do it. Keep voice volume max and drop everything else down. Hail. Speak to me another time. I'm on duty. Genius. You think I care to hear your troubles? Leave off. All right, Lynn. No need for the attitude, is there? Excavation site, the hole. It's my nickname in college. <laughs> it's like a coliseum. Get a move on. I was watching the cutscene, Fisker. So I am a pawn. Now pawns are recruitable party members, essentially, who are, I mean, somewhat disposable, to say the least. Well, at least they were. Do your injuries pain you? Pray, do not overexert yourself. This is no place for one of your ilk. Tis harsh beyond measure. Even we pawns are pushed to the brink. You ought not anger the overseer. Let us proceed to the site. Thanks, Rock. Oh. Rock, I don't know what. Wise to disobey. The overseer will show you no mercy. All right, I, didn't, I wasn't aware I was disobeying. If I'm honest, Rook. I just follow you, buddy, because I was going the wrong way, seemingly, so. Not sure how much longer I can hold 
Time for you to get to work. Interesting voice. Pick up a boulder. Sure. You are prepared to work. Then you all begin by carrying stones out from the station in the back and bringing them here. Hope this is the entire. That would be a way to <laughs> subvert expectations. Oh, nice. You know, <laughs> you think you're picking up this epic RPG game, and what you actually get is a. Um, <laughs> it's just like a work simulator. Quite cluttered. Pray leap. Out of the way, kid. My girl's hench. She's tilting her back a little bit too much for my liking. You can tilt it a little bit, though. That's okay. Oh, up here. <laughs> I'm on my way. <laughs> I suppose these are my just a job well done. Now the next step is to... What is this commotion? Perhaps we ought to investigate. Perhaps we ought, Rook. Perhaps we ought. One thing I'd like to check, if this is something I can change. I have to click every time the... Um, I don't really know where this would be. Toggle hail. Um, I used to click every time I want the conversation to move on. I kind of just wanted to just move on by itself. I don't really have any desire to click A every single time. But I don't think that's something that's going to let me do, is it? No. Whoa! Okay there, buddy. What's going on? It's a Gorgon! Even at the cost of your lives! He's a rock. Onslaught. Observe your first head and attack as the situation demands. I know. It says press X. I'm going to keep pressing X. Impale. Wah. Wah. So it's like, it's basically light attack, heavy attack. Wah. Shields offer welcome protection from attacks. No, there's no um, there's no lock on. Really weird. Again, purposeful choice. I'm sure it's not a deal. Just saying. Boulders, barrels, and the like can make effective weapons. Never combated. Okay. Take this, Gorgon. Come here. Wait, what are you doing? <laughs> Come here. <laughs> that was so not worth doing. Ow. When delivering targeted strikes. I would recommend clinging to your bow. Woohoo! There we go. This is the main thing you've played to this game. But. Climbing on gigantic enemies, slice and dicing. If I just keep cutting here, maybe the tail will fall off eventually. Oh, I should have defended that. The hell? Did she just hit me? Did I just die <laughs> on the tutorial boss? Sure did. That, I swear that dude just slashed me in the face. Most people do not take kindly to being picked up on. <laughs> Can I chuck? Wait, 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 I want to try that. What is this commotion? Alright, well, let's try that again. Um, 
escape cutscenes. Observe your foes carefully and attack as the situation demands. Going on. I'm not sure climbing in this situation really helps. I don't feel like I'm getting to anything in particular. It, it keeps me on, I suppose, but I'm attacking much slower than I would be otherwise. Shields offer welcome protection from attacks. If I'm going to do this, what I want to do is try to get, like, on the head, right? Going up. <laughs> Boulders, the towers, and the light can make effective weapons. With That's more like it. There we go, baby. Chop the snakes off. <laughs> I ran out of stamina. I would recommend clinging to your phone. Yeah, I've run out of stamina. I just need to hold on for a minute. There we go. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> Get him! <laughs> Flee for your life. Am I jumping off the cliff? I feel like I'm going to jump off the cliff. Allons-y! <laughs> no one could survive a fall from this height. Not even a pawn.
Pray, keep your distance, Arisen. Worry not for me. The brine may swallow me whole, but I will not perish. There is a stone not far from here, known as a rift stone. Pray, seek it out. If you're truly the Arisen, then our paths will surely cross again. Oi! Are you all right? What happened here? A griffin appears one moment and falls the next. And now you stand before me. Was it you then? The one who was riding on its back? It is a wonder you survived. Accompany me to the stronghold. We'll treat your wounds and hear your story. Hmm. Aww. Poor Griffin. Okay, so the game's running fine at the moment, as you can see. Um, the major performance complaints have come from the cities, so that's really going to be the interesting bit, is how does it handle that? The the towns and cities... Uh, basically, the game has a massive draw on the CPU. Um, because of how it renders characters, basically, and the AI on the characters and stuff like that, so... Apparently, that's what we have to look out for. If we get to the city and it's okay... Then I think we're good. I love that I can jump. You can so rarely jump in games like this. Must good. Where exactly is this jail you say you escaped from anyway? I've never heard of such a place. See how quiet it's certainly north like that here in Vermont. Could it be you were held in the neighboring country of Batal? Nay. I suppose that's unlikely. We've been estranged from Batal ever since the war. It is difficult to imagine any citizen of Vermin being sent there. Fine! Goblins! Let's take up your weapon, sir. You'll be needing it. LB and X to activate. Oh! oh. If you find your strength flagging, buy the curative or have a bit of green. Heart. When one of the fiends comes to you, best guard or dodge, else you'll be sore on the morrow. Make use of the slope. It will give you an advantage against their ranks. Wait a little, not deep. Avoid guarded attacks to get the enemy to flinch. Ah. There are oft items to be scavenging. I got my apples. All right. Ooh, I think. Where are you going? There's I'll a bush. You to receive treatment, but I'd at least <laughs> like a word. I needed the bush. <laughs> Why is his voice so quiet? I specifically organized my sound around him not being super quiet. Ooh, eggs. Can I can I get the eggs? I only look to the miserable state of the village of Mel to see that. Where do you think you're going? You can't just run off now. He's killing the eggs. Got to get your goddamn priorities in order. Look at the water. It's beautiful. Uh, weapon skill defend so it's blink strike that I've got. I'm trying to figure out how you use curatives. You mentioned it, but I don't know how you actually do it. I mean, I can do this, obviously. Nourishing restorative, consume it to recover a fair amount of health. Sure. Goblinos! <laughs> that was a great attack. He jumped at me with his shield out. Where are you going? I'll not force you oh, damn. I'd at least like a word. Oh, I'm trying to... Better determine when they're flinching, you know?
Nice. Isabella. Level 2. I'm looting. It's, I'm gonna kill you in a minute, buddy. <laughs> Let me tell you. His voice is super quiet unless he's yelling at me. He's just like my goddamn dad. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Ish. Aw, oh, yeah. Withered branches, baby. Okay, the combat's fun. Okay. I don't know how we get the other vocations, but I'm curious. Because I know there's a new one, which is like... It's like a pole arm. I say pole dancer. It's not like a pole dancer, but it's like a pole arm kind of thing. It looks, looks like a lot of fun. Welcome, Arisen. We pawns have long awaited your arrival. What is this? The pawns. They bend the knee to you so readily, but then... No. Surely you cannot be the Arisen. You seek the Riftstone, do you not? We can take you to it. Pray. Come this way. Before you stands a Riftstone. Is a gate by which we of the Pawn Legion may cross o'er into this world. Pray, summon your pawn. Simply paint with your mind's eye the loyal attendant whom you would have serve you. Now summon your main pawn, the loyal companion who will accompany you throughout your adventure. What should they look like? Try to envisage their appearance. You can either begin with a preset. I'll begin with a preset. So yeah, this is going to be the one who follows us for most of the game. Okay, I think I've made my beast run. <clears throat> I'm going to skip forward for most of that because it took bloody ages. <laughs> so I think I'm going to make him a mage for now. I think things are going to change later on. Um, it says inc vocations can be changed later. I think that applies for... Like, you know, stereotypically, you'd make him a fighter, right? He's a big lad, he's a beast and it kind of screams fighter, but there's no reason he can't be a mage. Inclination, kind-hearted, compassionate, devoted, and dutiful, the most obedient sort of pawn. Favors a balanced approach with an emphasis on support, quick to aid allies. Uh, rational, shrewd, and strategizing, characterized by caution, favors defense and evasion, and playing clever tactics to survive. Curious, uh, curious, earnest, and adventurous. Pawn with their heart on their sleeve. Enjoys exploring and gathering items. Always for challenge. Straightforward, candid, flippant, impulsive. Unbound by precepts. Enjoys the thrill of combat. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> the people here are evacuated and safe. The people here are evacuated and safe. Oh. People here are evac. People here are. People here are. The people here are evacuated and safe. For the moment. Okay, we're going to do the same again. He needs a moniker and a name. Something... Feline, I suppose. I don't know what that would be, but he needs something feline. I would never usually... I would never make... This is interesting for me, because I would never make a... Like, I would never play a Khajiit on, um, a Khajiit on um, Elder Scrolls, ever. Just that it just wouldn't appeal to me whatsoever. So, kind of like being able to make one as my companion is quite nice. Because I would never I would never play one myself. The closest I ever get was playing, like, a Tauren on World of Warcraft. Basil, Batsu, I like Basil. Benny Maru, Bennett, Benton, Betty, Bianca, Bungo, Bitey Face. <laughs> 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 How am I meant to resist? And his actual name is uh, blah, 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 blah. my inclination again. I just want to be cliche and like call him Panthros, Panthro or something. <laughs> like all Beastrin must be named according to uh, <sighs> his name is Balthazar. I've decided. Balthazar. Nope. There we go. I just took a screenshot for some reason. Bitey face the mage. There you go. 
Oh, excuse me. Welcome back, bitey face. This world is connected to innumerable other realms beyond the rift, which pawns, such as myself, are able to traverse. I've got to admit, the voice is much posher than I thought it was. <laughs> I realised it was quite so loud. Da, da, da. My kind is duty-bound to serve you, Arisen, and to use the knowledge we glean in these distant worlds to your benefit. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> I myself look forward to traveling alongside you and using my experiences beyond the rift to enrich your adventures. He talks like he's reading from a script and really trying to make every well, sentence oh, interesting. A pawn summoning before my very eyes. You're an interesting one, Justin. You truly are the Arisen, then. Strange. I thought the Arisen was in the capital. Surely there's only meant to be one Arisen. Fine. This is all beyond my ken. The Watchhead would know what to do, I'm sure. Though, as luck would have it, he's away. I suppose we'll save any further questions till the Watchhead returns. You're free to do as you like afore then. My shorts are very short. What? You've no memories, you say? Mayhap you could make for Melv, then. It was set upon by the dragon not long ago. Mayhap I could, Justin. Mayhap I could. The Arisen is said to bear some deep connection to the dragon. Should you be Arisen, mayhap you'll recall aught of import there. Mayhap I will, Justin. Mayhap I shall. Border Watch Outpost, Northern Watch Encampment. It's like an inn. Looks like an inn. By touching a riftstone, the Arisen can travel to the bridge at Twixt Worlds, where a great many pawns traverse the sea journey beyond the rift. This allows the Arisen to summon pawns who meet their specified preferences. These pawns will not level up while they're accompanying you, however, so you may need to hire new pawns at intervals. Hail, Arisen. Hail. Pray, ask all you wish to know. I shall answer, if tis within my power to do so. Tell me of pawns. Nomads, we are oft called. Born in other worlds. We travel here by means of the rift stones that we might aid you, Arisen. However, I cannot speak as to our true nature, for I know of it not. None of us do. We do not need to. We merely do as we are commanded. That's sad. I will incite rebellion. Rift stones are gates that connect this world to a multitude of others. By their power have we crossed into this world. And when our mission is done, by their power shall we return to our own. Tis the name given to fates chosen, those destined to command the Pawn Legion and safeguard the world from the threat of the dragon. Even with your memories lost to you, I am afraid you cannot escape your fate. Very well. May fortune speed you on your way, Arisen. There are four types of pawn inclinations when you enter the covenant with your main pawn and you'll select an inclination, determine certain aspects of the pawn's behaviour, including the manner of speech. All pawns serve the arisen faithfully regardless of inclination. So I probably should have made him kind hearted, really, <laughs> now that I think about it. Um, I've, I've kind of wanted him to be more like a support mage, but I just kind of wanted him to be who we wanted to be, you know what I mean? And I felt that that's who we wanted to be. I have no reason to think that, but that's what I thought. Oh, hey guys. Okay. Uh, oh, do I have to pay for some of them? I don't have to pay for Nikolai, though. Hello, Nikolai. Hail. I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer combat thrills to gathering items. I am confident and may act independently. Shut up, Nikolai. Support pawns, okay. As you explore the world, you encounter wandering pawns. Speak to them to have them join your party. Support pawn. They'll not level up by the company. Okay, so they're the ones we need to replace all the time. You can only hire pawns for a higher level than your own if you have rift crystals, okay? You get those throughout the adventures. And your main pawn will be rewarded with rift crystals for their endeavors beyond the rift. While you're traveling, you'll need to dismiss. When you dismiss, you can evaluate and give them a rating. You can also leave them with a present to bring back to their master beyond the rift. 
Well, you can change the support pawn's equipment. Bear in mind, newly equipped items will be gifted to pawn's master when dismissed. Okay. Um, there's something else I want to check there. It's gone now. <laughs> uh, battle. Grabbing smaller foes. If some of them are flinching or knocked prone. So how are you fl it's flinching that I was curious about. Oh, whatever. No, no, no. Okay, let's see, let's see if we can find... I, I can't have... Another, another, another beastrin. I'm not mad. I need, I don't need a mage though. I need an archer. Who I can afford. Or a rogue. You're the only option, Nikolai, that isn't going to cost me money. I feel like Nikolai is like the, literally the only option, but I don't want Nikolai. All right, come here, Nikolai. Oh, what an archer, man. I guess I could have, like, a... Um, if I can find, like, a, a helpful, like, a kind-hearted mage, that would be good. Simple, calm. It's very weird. I like it. But I like weird. All right, come on then, Nikolai. Pleased to make your acquaintance. <laughs> yeah, you too. Please dispense with the formalities. They exhaust me so. All right. Pawn, pawn quests are tasks given to your main pawn to be completed beyond the rift. You set the task and must stipulate a reward for the arisen who hires your main pawn to receive upon the task's completion. Pawn quests provide opportunities for you to obtain items and acquire pawn badges. When setting reward for the arisen who hires your main path, you will select a uh, nominate sum of gold. Okay, sure. Master, I've not more to say. Pressing me further shan't change that. Okay, can I get another one? I think I can. A grand adventure awaits us. I just know it. Let us work together to honour the arisen's trust. Sure. All right, come on, gang. Unique pawns, official pawns. Special pawns can be hired from the official pawns. They differ from regular. Names are displayed in different colour. Level 10 and below can be hired without crystals. Armour can't be changed. Oh, I could have got what I wanted. What is that? Wait, I need to, I need to kick someone out. I'm sorry. Where's that lovely new pawn? Nari, I don't really need you, girl. Nothing to report, I'm afraid. Goodbye. <laughs> Wait, what? You don't, you don't, no, 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 no. <laughs> Cancel the gift, yes. Uh, thumbs up, though. Would that I could stay with you forever, Arisen. Nari, you were fantastic, but, um, see you later. I need, uh, I want Sakura, because I'm an archer. You are wise indeed to have sought my aid. Okay. Why have, why have I built this troop of fairies? <laughs> we can begin formulating a strategy that caters to our respective skills. Sure. Like, literally, all three of my pawns are bistrin. <laughs> this was not how it was meant to go. Oh, so set a pawn quest. A quest of a player. Sure. So someone can hire my pawn in their game, and if they do, and they travel together for a full day and night, then I'll get a reward. Okay. Come on, then. Really we'll now? <laughs> you mustn't shirk your duty, lest you forget tis the arisen we serve here. My little bloody furry gaggle. <laughs> Alright, let's have a little poke around town. I don't really know what I'm doing next. I leveled up. Do I get anything? Can I do it now? It's like skill tree or anything like that. Bull. Commissary. Commissary. Let's just have a, let's let's check out these buildings. I'm nodding off where I stand. I okay. would fain aid you if you are in need. Don't know what that means, but thank you. <laughs> All save data can now be relied upon to save your progress. I recommend you rest at ins at regular intervals if you wish to ensure the reliability of your save. All right, it's ominous, there. isn't it? You seem well tired. Tell you what, you can stay here tonight free of charge. I'll expect coin from tomorrow, mind. Sure. My pa always used to say. There's naught a good night's sleep can't fix. 
Not much else I can offer, I'm afraid, but you'll find all sorts at a finer inn. Aye, being armed is better than being defenseless, even if you're untrained. Still, it is worth devoting yourself to a vocation if you can. Opens up new doors, it does. You should stop by the inn in Melv if you get the chance. No hard feelings if you prefer it. They've much more to offer. Staying in the inn restores health and stamina, recovers the loss gauge, which represents a reduction in health and accumulates when taking damage. Resting in an inn, you can choose whether to rise in one or go at night, useful if you need to set out a particular time. Foresighted adventurers will stay at inns regularly to avoid risks. Sure. You shan't hear me complain about an early repose. Thanks, Nikolai. Added items will be sent to item storage. Found strength courses through you. It is good to see. They do say good things come to those who wait. Congrats, Balthazar. It says I could choose whether to wake at day or night, but I didn't get to choose. <laughs> uh, the game looks really weird all of a sudden. I don't know what it is. It was super. Why has it gone mad? It was fine before. Now it's look at my character. She's blurry and vibrating, and the whole game's I've been combining materials that I hope you'll find useful. I'll craft what I can using what's in my pack. But you can't. What? No, go away. Okay. Uh, can I save at any point? I don't think so. I may have to save it. Oh no, there we go. Okay. Well, we'll end it there. Um, I mean, it seems fine so far. Ugh. A little bit janky in bits. I don't know what's going on with the graphics all of a sudden, but um, it seems okay. Well, I'm not going to commit to, like... I really need to get into the city to find out how this is going to play out, so... Um, what I'm going to do is carry on the playthrough, as I say. I'm going to record it over this weekend. And if I hit a point where I'm thinking, yeah, okay, this game is basically unplayable, then what we'll do is... I will, I will keep this video saved, and we'll sort of relaunch the playthrough down the line. So basically, if you see the next episode on Monday, which is when it usually would be uploaded, that means we're committing... And I've recorded, and it's fine, right? If you don't see the next episode on Monday, and this one disappears, it's because the game didn't really function, and I need to reset. So that's... And then we'll come back to the game in a month or two, or whatever, when it's patched and, and fixed up. So that's the general idea, but otherwise I'm down for a brand new big RPG adventure, one that I've been really excited for. So I'm hoping things are okay, and I can, uh, I can enjoy the game. Until next time, thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you lovely folks very soon. Cheers much as always. Bye-bye.